Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to this week's edition of New Makeup Sunday. So I have so much stuff to go over with you guys today because I was on vacation last week. So I have two weeks worth of things that have just been building up since I was gone. I got a ton of stuff the first day I got back, just PR and things like that. And then I also grabbed a few things just this week while I was home. So I can't wait to share everything with you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just got home from vacation yesterday and I had everything set to be delivered today. So everything behind me on the counter there is what came in while I was on my trip last week. I also have some FedEx stuff that's supposed to come a little bit later on this afternoon. So there's gonna be so much stuff to go through. I'm gonna try to just go as quickly as I can. I'm gonna try to keep it very short and sweet because I don't want this video to be like an hour long. Um, and we have basically two weeks worth of stuff to go over because I have no idea what's coming in later this week too. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. All right, so here's everything. I ordered some stuff from Ulta while I was on vacation. I have something from Doll 10, Alter Ego Palette, Pixie Beauty PR. I also have some PR from Wet n Wild. I have some PR from Tarte's skincare brand called Awake, uh, the new ColourPop California Dreaming Collection, and some new lipsticks from L'Oreal. So um, let's start first with this Doll 10 brush set. So this is called the Doll Eye Essentials 8-Piece Eyeshadow Brush Set, and it's in collaboration with Makeup Mall. It's $39 and it launched on June 27th. I also have an affiliate code with Doll 10 to save 15% off. So I'll put that up on the screen and also down in the description box. So let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, so here are all the brushes. It comes in a really nice rose gold case. And then um, these feel so super soft and amazing. I can't wait to start using them. So in this kit, you get the Prepping Perfector. This is the first brush, which is for placing and setting your base. Then you have the Transition Transformer, which is for building and blending your transition shades. Next, you have the Crease Creator, which is for contouring and blending shades into the crease. Then next up is the Dimension Designer, and this is for defining and building the crease and the lower lash line. Um, this one is the Buff Blender, and this one is for blending and smoothing out harsh lines. Then you have the Shadow Shader, which is for building and packing shadow onto the eyelid. Next, you have the Line Definer, which is for defining, smoking, and smudging your upper and lower lash line. And then the last one is the Detail Dazzler, and this is for adding shimmer to the brow bone and the inner corner. So they just feel really super nice and substantial, really high quality. So I'm excited to start using these, and I'll definitely let you guys know what I think in a future video. All right, so next up, Pixie Beauty sent over some of their skin treats, which I am so excited about. I've had my eye on these vitamin C products ever since they came out, but I was just kind of waiting and seeing if they would send them to me. So I'm so excited to try these out. And um, on the back, it says that the key ingredients in this line are vitamin C, which is brightening, ferulic acid, which is antioxidant protection, and probiotics to strengthen and balance. And there's five different products in here. Oh, look at that, it has my name on it, how cute. So it looks like they basically just sent over an entire um, skincare routine in a jar, so that's awesome. Side effects may include a brighter disposition, an infectious smile, singing in the shower, a sense of euphoria, a fun-loving attitude, a spring in your step, sun-drenched vibes, spontaneous laughter, an air of confidence, a compulsion to post selfies at Pixie Beauty. That is hilarious. All right, let's open this up and see what's inside. So the first product is the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. I thought this was like an actual regular cleanser at first, but it looks like it's more like a micellar water. You just put a cotton pad on this and press down, and then you're just supposed to swipe it over your face without rinsing or anything like that. So it's not a traditional you know, cleanser where you're gonna use water, it's waterless. Um, on the back, it just says it's a brightening cleansing water with stable vitamin C for potent antioxidant effect, ferulic acid and probiotics help to preserve and protect the skin. So that's product number one. And then next we have the vitamin C tonic, which is basically like a toner. So this has those three main ingredients, vitamin C, ferulic acid and probiotics. And it also has willow bark and fruit extracts to gently exfoliate the skin. It's alcohol free. And then next up we have the vitamin C serum. This is also vitamin C and ferulic acid again. They're all supposed to basically brighten up your skin. And I'm so excited about this because I don't know if you remember a while back I was using the um, Peter Thomas Roth Potency Serum and that one's really expensive so I haven't repurchased it even though I saw great results with it. And that was also a combo of vitamin C and ferulic acid. So I'm excited to see if this is maybe just like a cheaper alternative so here's a look at the ingredient list I'm sorry I forgot to show you the ingredients on the other products I can go back and show you um, but if you just want to pause the video and take a look 
All right, so this basically just says it provides a boost of immediate and long-term radiance. Vitamin C and ferulic acid are proven to reduce the effects of sun damage and free radicals, helping to improve skin tone and creating a smoother complexion. Next up, we have the vitamin C lotion, and this also, again, has vitamin C and ferulic acid. Um, let's see. This says skin brightening moisture lotion. Vitamin C has potent antioxidant power, promotes healthy collagen production, and is known to boost skin's luminosity. Great for all skin types. Um, and then where's the ingredient panel? Here we go. And then the last product is the vitamin C caviar balm. So this sounds like it's probably a heavier weight version of this. Like maybe this would be daytime and this would be nighttime. Um, this one has those same ingredients in it again. This one says it's an encapsulated vitamin mask. Then it says basically the same things the other ones say. And then massage into face, allow encapsulated vitamins to melt into the skin and let it absorb. So this is the type of mask that you just leave on. So I'll go ahead and just show you the ingredients. And then just quickly, I'll go back and show you the ingredients on the toner and also on the cleanser. This one's gonna be a little bit harder to see because it kind of goes around the bottle like that. Um, but if you just wanna pause the video, you can probably see most of it. All right, so I'm so excited to test this out. And since I've been away, I haven't tried the Honest Beauty products much yet. I know I said I was gonna do like a 30 day review on the Honest Beauty skincare, but would you guys rather see 30 days of this? If you would, let me know down in the comments below and I can maybe start a 30 day routine with the Pixi Vitamin C, or if you wanna see the Honest first, then I can do this one after. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Okay, so next up, we have the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection. I showed you guys the eyeshadow palette and the face palette last week in my Sunday haul, and this is the entire collection now, so I had a feeling they were probably gonna send it. So um, in that case, I think I'm probably just gonna give this whole PR package away because really those two products were the things I was most excited about. Um, so I will leave a giveaway link down in the description box below. I'll just quickly show you guys what's in it, but I won't open everything. Um, so inside you get the face palette, the eyeshadow palette, then in here there's um, a bonus fruit lip scrub and then bonus fruit lip balm. And then there are four ghost lip glosses and then I believe these are like bronzing and blush pearls. I remember from seeing them in store. Yeah, so this looks like the bronzing pearls. And then these are called the blush lighter pearls, which I guess is more of kind of like a glowy blush or highlighter combo. And then it looks like there's a second layer underneath. All right, so then underneath we have nail polishes. There's five different shades here and kind of all the same colors that everything else is in. And then there are two brushes and I love these brushes. They look so beautiful. They have like the yellow tip on the bristles. So it looks like there's a face brush and also an eyeshadow brush. So if you wanna win this, don't forget to enter in the giveaway link down below. I'll open it up internationally so anybody can enter. Okay, so the next box is from Tarte and they sent over some of their Awake skincare products. So if you don't know, Awake used to be a Japanese skincare company and I believe Tarte took them over a while back. So um, really exciting. I haven't heard anybody talking about Awake, but apparently they're available at Ulta now. It says available 630 in all Ulta stores. So that is really cool. It says always formulated without parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, triclosan, sodium laurel, sodium laurel sulfate, and gluten. So this is what's in the box right here and all the prices. We have the vegan silk pillowcase and it says soft as silk vegan fibers wake you up to smoother skin and hair. And then we have the lip therapy mask which has vitamin E and oil blend which hydrates the lips for 12 hours. We have the dream mist pillow spray for $20 aromatherapeutic and calming pillow mist. And then we have the Keep Calm and Roll On Clarity Cream, which is $16 and it's a peppermint infused cooling and calming cream. So let's check these out. Um, so here's a look at the lip therapy mask. I'll just open this up and see what it feels like. It says it's a creamy lip treatment mask. It has a concentrated blend of olive argan, rosehip raspberry seed oil that works overtime during the day and while you sleep. All right, so here's a quick look at the ingredient list in case you wanna pause the video. And then here's what the jar looks like. I just put a little bit on my lips. It feels really nice. Actually, it reminds me a lot of the lip sleeping mask from Laneige. It actually smells exactly the same to me as well. It almost has like a strawberry scent to it. So I'm really curious to see what this is like and how it compares to that one. 
And then next up we have the Dream Mist Pillow Spray. This is what the bottle looks like. I just sprayed a little bit right here and it definitely has a very strong lavender scent to it. So if you don't like lavender, you won't like this. I can pretty much guarantee you, but I happen to love the scent of lavender. I think it's so calming and soothing and kind of just more of like an herbal spa-like scent. So I really, really like this. Um, if you wanna see the ingredient list quick, I'll just show you that right here. And then next we have the Keep Calm and Roll On Clarity Cream. So this has a little like roller balls here. And it basically smells like peppermint. I think it has a few other ingredients, which I'll show you in a second. But what you're supposed to do with this is just roll it onto your pulse points, like your temples, your wrists, your neck. And it's just supposed to help kind of perk you up and make you feel more wide awake. So it's great like to keep in your desk at work and put it on when you hit that afternoon slump. I used to have one like this from Origins that I really enjoyed. Um, this smells very similar to that. So I really like the scent of this and I'm excited to try it and then here's just a quick look at the ingredient label on this one all right and then the last product in the box is the silk pillowcase it feels so nice and I keep hearing great things about silk pillowcases just for your skin and for your hair so this basically just says it's a beauty sleep pillowcase that feels so luxe you can't believe it's not real silk oh that's right they said it was vegan um, so vegan fibers reduce friction while you sleep so very excited to wash this and try it out and see if it makes a difference so that's everything from awake everything's available now at ulta.com and also in Ulta stores all right guys so next up let's go ahead and unbox the new alter ego daydream palette this is coming out this week on the 4th of july actually and they send little stickers now with the order isn't that so cute it kind of reminds me of glossier a little bit so let's go ahead and open this up we'll do some swatches and i also want to quickly compare it to the huda beauty new nudes and also the new makeup revolution palette which i also just got so let's go ahead and check it out so here's a look at the packaging it's really really beautiful and then here's the back side with all the different shades laid out this one is 16.2 grams and I believe the Huda Beauty new nudes palette is around 19.7 grams so you are getting a little bit more in that palette but that one is $65 and this one is only 18 and to be honest with you I never hit pan on eyeshadow palettes anyway so I don't really mind that there's a little bit less product in here so opening it up this is what it looks like I think this is absolutely beautiful. You have a few different textures going on, very similar to the new nudes palette. You have two glitter shades. You also have these pressed shimmers that are a little bit more on the chunky side. They're really beautiful and some of my favorite shades in the new nudes palette. You also have the concealer right here, just like the new nudes, and then you have a bunch of matte shades. So I'm gonna show you what the new nudes palette looks like next to this one, so you can just kind of get an idea of how close the shades are. Okay, so here are the palettes side by side, and the shades are not in the same order, so it's going to be a little tough for me to figure out which ones kind of match up, because there are a few that don't look exactly alike in the pan. For example, this one right here looks like kind of a dusty pink shade in the Huda palette, but then um, looking at this palette, I can't really find another shade that looks exactly like that one. This one is the rosiest of the tones in here, so I'm thinking it's probably this shade, um, but not 100% positive, so I'm kind of wondering if if these will just look the same once they're swatched out. I will do a follow-up video and do a look with the Huda on one side and then the Daydream palette on the other. And because I just got this Alter Ego palette last night and haven't even had a chance to use it yet, I don't wanna give you guys a review without having actually tried it on my eyes. And I wouldn't be able to let you know how a lot of the shades perform and the wear time and things like that. So before we move on, I just want to do one more quick comparison. And that is with the Revolution Pro New Neutrals palette. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a spot on dupe for the new nudes. But as I was looking at them side by side, I realized that there are quite a few differences here. So they did actually lay this one out in the exact same order as the new nudes palette. But there are a lot of differences as far as the textures go. For example, it has one of these chunky shimmer shades, which kind of matches up to this one here. But then where these other chunky shimmers are, they have either a regular press shimmer or a totally different color in a matte finish so this one here instead of the pink you have this kind of dark taupey brown shade and um, the glitters look the same but then over here you have kind of this bronzy olive shade instead of this berry shimmer here and then this one is also just a pressed silver versus this one which has kind of the pink and bronze mix to it 
Also, this light matte dusty pink is missing from this palette. You have this deep one, which actually kind of matches up here. So they did change around a few things. They do also have a concealer base in the palette, just like these two do. But I just wanted to show you this side by side because I know a lot of people were saying that this was an exact dupe for the Huda palette. But really, I think that the Alter Ego one is closer, especially in terms of these textured shades right here and trying to stay true to the colors that are in here. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly, but I can also include this one in the video that I do and just kind of let you know how this one applies as well. Once I've had a chance to use it, I also just got this one yesterday. All right, guys, so I just took a quick break because I wanted to swatch these for my Instagram page. So now that I've swatched them both, I definitely see some differences formula-wise that I want to point out really quickly. I'm not going to swatch both palettes next to each other in this video just because I don't want it to be super long, but I do want to just swatch a couple of shades from each and let you know like the differences that I'm seeing in the formula, at least with the swatch. I'm still going to do the video with um, applying them both to my eyes as well as do full swatches during that video, but I just don't want to be redundant and do full swatches in both videos. So uh, let me just quickly show you what I'm talking about. So the first difference that I saw is with these um, textured shimmer shades right here. Um, the Huda ones are extremely difficult to pick up and I don't know if it's just because I've had this palette for a while and they're drying out because they do have a little bit more of a creamy consistency but I kind of remember them being tough to pick up even back when I first got it. Um, so I really am like digging, digging, digging into this palette just to get some on my finger whereas this one it's like so creamy I pick it up almost immediately I hardly even have to press into it at all um, and if I dug into it I would really pick up a lot it's super super soft so I'll just show you what these look like quickly this is the Huda one it's just like the slightest bit sheer and then watch this one it's just so much more vivid and vibrant. It feels more creamy. So um, I definitely think that these textured shimmer shades are a little better in the Alter Ego palette, just as far as how easily they pick up and then how pigmented they are once they swatch. Like I said, I really had to dig into this one a ton just to pick it up. And this one, I hardly had to try at all. So that's just one difference I noted so far. I also noted a little bit more vibrancy in this shimmery shade right here in both palettes. I think again the um, Alter Ego one is just a little creamier. Here's the Huda one. It's just kind of like it's okay. It's not bad. It's swatched smoothly. But then here's the Alter Ego one. It's just like a little bit more vibrant again and just a little more bold and it feels creamier to the touch. So I don't know if that's just again because the Huda palette is older and then the Alter Ego one is newer. But I just like the way that the Alter Ego one feels a little bit more and it's easier to pick up with my finger. Also the glitter shades I feel are a little bit different as well. The Huda one, let me just show you really quick. The Huda one, when you pick it up, I mean, glitter's never swatched the best, but this one is just kind of, you know, it's streaky. It doesn't like make a full swatch or anything, but watch when I go ahead and swatch this one from the Alter Ego palette. It almost swatches completely which is insane. I mean, I've never seen a glitter swatch like that before. So very, very impressed again, just with the glitters. I feel like they hold together really well. Even when I go to like kind of spread it out, it doesn't get patchy. It just spreads out very evenly and very nicely. Whereas this one, I can barely spread it out at all. Like even at pressing really hard, it just kind of trails off and leaves little glitter particles. So I think this one's definitely going to be easier to apply to the eye than the Huda ones. But that being said, when I go to swatch the mattes, like this is uh, spanked from the Huda palette, you can see just like how smooth that is. I mean, it's not super, super pigmented, but it just is super smooth on the skin. And then when I apply the same shade in the um, Alter Ego palette, it's got some chunkiness. It has a lot of fallout. It feels way more powdery and it just doesn't look quite as smooth on the skin. So, um, you know, it, it kind of, I guess, depends on your preference. The Alter Ego one is much, much softer and like I said, more powdery. There's more kick up involved. Whereas the Huda one is very dense, it's more firmly pressed, so you're not going to get that kick up. However, in the past, what I've noticed is that denser shadows are a little bit tougher to blend in your crease, whereas the softer ones are much, much easier. And I usually prefer the more powdery shadows as long as I tap off my brush first. It's not really an issue with the fallout for me, um, but I just find that these are easier to blend because I'm not like an expert blender by any means. So anything that, you know, can help me out in that department is a good thing. So I actually prefer the more um, powdery shadows, but I know a lot of people don't. So if you don't, I think you'll like the ones in the Huda palette better. But like I said, I still have to try both of these palettes on my eyes and see what happens at that point. So I will definitely let you guys know. 
I also got my Ulta order and I had picked up the new Revolution Pro palette. This is the new neutral and I just showed you guys this a little bit when I was comparing it to the Huda New Nudes and the um, Alter Ego Daydream. I couldn't think of it for a second. Um, so anyway, I'll do a couple of swatches of this just to see what the formula is like, but um, let me just show you what else I got first really quick. So um, I got a couple new things from Catrice. This is the One Minute Face Perfector. It says Magic Finish Effect, and it says it's a moussey face perfector that ensures flawless, mattified complexion and natural makeup finish, makes pores visibly disappear, color adapts to any skin tone, use as makeup or a primer. So I just thought that sounded really interesting. So let's take a look and see what it's like. All right, so here's what it looks like. It definitely looks like a darker color than my skin tone, so hopefully it does adapt. And it really does feel like more of a moussey texture, like they said. So let's see. Yeah, that's definitely too dark for me. Unless hopefully once I rub it in, it won't be, but I don't know about that. It seems like my hand is a lot darker than my arm right now. <laughs> um, but it does feel really soft, and uh, it's making my hand feel smooth. But at the same time, it seems to be clinging to like all the dryness that's in my hand. So I don't know if that's going to be okay on my face. My face isn't as dry as my hands are, so um, I guess I'll have to see. But I don't like how it kind of looks like it's breaking up a little bit. I don't know, between that and the color being off, I'm not sure that I'm going to necessarily like this one. But I'll definitely give it a go on my face and see what happens. I also got two other things from Catrice. This is the Liquid Camouflage Under Eye Primer. I really, really love their Liquid Camouflage Concealer, so I was excited to see this one. It says it's a silky smooth hydrating primer, which creates the ideal base for the concealer, reduces the look of fine lines, and perfects under eye concealer application. So let's just see what this feels like really quickly. So it just kind of feels like a clear like gel formula, almost like a serum. Um, makes my skin feel really soft, really smooth, but obviously, I mean, we're not going to be able to tell much. I'm going to have to try this under my eyes and see if it really does help make my concealer look smoother and last longer. I also got their new False Lashes Mascara, and this says it's a deep black mascara for extreme volume and false lashes look, which I always love. No clumping, no smudging. So here's what the brush looks like really quick just kind of a curved brush. It has like the regular bristles, not the hard ones, so that's good. So I'll just have to keep you guys updated on these Catrice products. And then I also got the new Wet n Wild Snow Melt Lip Powders. I got a lot of requests to try these out and it was hard to choose colors online, so I really wasn't sure, but I got Snowball Fight and Dude Chill. This one looks like it might be really, really light now that I'm seeing it in person. And this one looks kind of dark, but I guess we can't really go by the cap. So let's see what they actually look like. So these are supposed to be basically like a powder that melts into a cream when you put it on your skin. Oh yeah, that is so weird. Like when you pull the applicator out, you see kind of powder flying everywhere, but as you apply it to your skin, it looks wet. Like it just turns into a wet powder. That is so strange. It just turns into like a cream. Actually, you know what? This reminds me of those Flower Beauty blushes that they used to have. They came in like a little jar with a sifter and it was powder like this. And when you applied it to your skin, it like stained your cheeks like a cream blush. It was amazing. But this color actually looks really pretty. It's not as light as I thought it would be, but it's a little peachy. So I don't know what it's going to look like on my lips, but we'll see. And then let's see what this one looks like. This one is really beautiful as well. It's kind of more of like a brick red, but again, it's a little darker than I was hoping it was going to be. So I don't know. I'm not too crazy about these colors right now, but I think the formula seems interesting. And if they're anything like those Flower Beauty powder to creams, they're going to be really, really long lasting because those were some of the longest lasting blushes I have ever tried. They were amazing. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on these as well. All right, so next let's just go ahead and swatch a couple shades in this Makeup Revolution palette. I'm excited to see how the Pro formula compares to their other palettes. And like I said, there's a couple of differences here with the shades. They have a lot of like regular pressed shimmers versus this textured one, but I'm curious to see how this one compares to the Huda and also the Alter Ego. Hmm, it seems like it's a little harder to pick up. It feels hard compared to the Alter Ego one. It actually feels more like the Huda one, like I really have to kind of dig to get it up. Let's see. Um, yeah, it swatches kind of even worse than the Huda one, unfortunately. Um, it's a little more of a sheer shade, almost like a topper would be. All right, so here's the shades Glitzed. 
Um, this one is Hidden. That one actually swatched really nicely. And then this one is called Magic. So I love Makeup Revolution, but to be honest with you, this is disappointing me a little bit. And, you know, they're just feeling really difficult to pick up and also not swatching the best either. I don't know how they're gonna perform in the eyes, but just based on how difficult they are to pick up with my finger, I feel like they would be even harder with a brush. And also, I feel like I was expecting a little bit more from this palette than the others, just because it's supposed to be a pro formula. Uh, so I'm a little bit disappointed, like I said, but let me swatch some of the mattes and we'll see what those are like. So here's the shade Karma. This one is called Calm. And then this is Majestic. They remind me a little more of the Huda ones versus the Alter Ego. They're really, really smooth. And these two especially didn't have as much fallout. This one had a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it on my eyes to let you guys know. But just swatch-wise, I feel like it doesn't swatch as good as the Alter Ego one or the Huda Beauty one. So anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys already have this palette, what do you think of it? Like, I'm curious to see how it applies to the eyes and how it wears. So if you have any information, definitely let us all know down in the comments. All right, so next up, I have the new California Love Collection from ColourPop. I didn't get everything, but I was definitely going to get the palette because it's a neutral palette. It looks so, so pretty. And then I also got four of the blotted lips because I love that formula so much. If you haven't tried it, it's basically kind of like a liquid lipstick, but not quite as drying. They're not transfer proof or anything, but they kind of um, almost look like you put on a lipstick and then blotted it with a tissue. So it has like a really soft kind of muted finish. I love it so much. And like I said they don't dry out my lips so they're fantastic um, some of the colors look a little brighter to me in the tube than they looked online so we're gonna have to see how these swatch but I'm definitely gonna swatch this palette for you and then I'll go ahead and swatch the lipsticks all right so I'm starting from the bottom row of the palette and just gonna work backwards like that so that um, all the shades will be in order when you look at them from left to right so um, first up we have the bay next we have cruise in and mission and then next we have, is it Kawenga? I don't know how to say this one, but that's that one. Um, this one is Surf Rider. And then the next one is a glitter shade and it's El Capitan. That one swatches about like glitter shades usually do, um, but it's so pretty. It has like multicolored glitter in there. I'll just try to add a little bit more. There we go. All right, next we have Laguna, Highway One, and then this one is Gold Rush. And then the last three are Sequoia, Gnarly, and Diego. Oh my gosh, that is so foiled. Holy cow. All right, so there you have it. That's the whole palette, and it's beautiful and neutral, right up my alley. I'm curious to see how this compares to Double Entendre because that one is really neutral as well. So if you'd like to see a video on this palette and I can maybe do some comparisons to other ColourPop palettes that I have, let me know down below. And then quickly, let's just swatch these blotted lips. I'll swatch these on my hand. So this first one is Cypress Chill. Did any of you guys used to listen to Cypress Hill when you were younger? I totally did. So as you can see, like they go on looking wet, but then they just dry down and look just like kind of muted and blotted, like you just took a tissue and blotted off the top layer. Um, so they're kind of, I would say like, basically like a gloss with the glossiness taken off, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, this one is called Scenic Root. This one looks like I'm gonna really like this color. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. So here you can see like when I apply it, it looks a little bit glossy but then the gloss just quickly goes away. Um, then we have Oh Hi There, that is, I love these names, these are so cute. This one looks super bright. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe I could pull this one off because like I said, once they dry a little bit, they don't look as bright as they do in the tube. They're definitely more muted colors. Um, and then this last one, this last one is called Swing Away. This is definitely the brightest one that I got. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's still going to be bright, but these are just beautiful. I think they're great summer colors. So um, I can also include these in a video if you want me to do one like on this whole collection and see what these look like on the lips. Let me know down below. 
So last but not least, I got a package from L'Oreal. They sent over their new macarons collection, which looks so pretty. I've heard so many great things about these. I think this formula is one of the better matte liquid lipstick formulas. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of them, but this one isn't super drying. It's like only a little bit drying. I feel like maybe in the summertime I can get away with these a little bit more. Um, and they're not, I don't feel like completely transfer proof. Like they're not those kind of matte liquid lipsticks that dry down and like don't budge. They do kind of budge a little bit like on your glass or like if you kiss someone I feel like they come off slightly and maybe that's why I like the formula of these a little bit better so these say that they have a delicate macaron aroma with hints of almond vanilla and cream which sounds so good so I figured I would just go ahead and swatch all of these colors for you guys so first up we have dose of rose this one is praline de Paris these do smell really good by the way holy cow this one is Mon Caramel. Oh, that color is so pretty. All right, this one is called Guava Gush. Then we have Mademoiselle Mango. All right, this one I'm totally going to butcher. All of these French words are killing me. Um, Frambois? Frambois Frenzy? I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I'm going with. And then the last one is Black Currant Crush. So definitely really pretty summer shades. If you guys would like to see these actually on my lips in a video, like I'll do a dedicated video on these and how they wear and stuff like that, let me know down below. Hey guys, I'm back. It's Tuesday afternoon. I just got those FedEx packages that I was expecting and I got something from Star Skin. They said, treat yourself to something sweet with gold for your hands and feet. So it looks like hand and foot masks. So this is the gold mask for hands, revitalizing luxury foil mask gloves. So let's see what these are all about. It says, wrap your hands in gold. I'm sorry about this glare. Maybe I could turn this light off. Wrap your hands in gold for the most luxurious hand treatment ever. The gold mask the gold mask foil gloves contain two layers, an inner layer soaked in a Bulgarian rose-based formula enriched with pure shea butter and rose hip oil, an outer protective foil layer which creates an intense warming effect to maximize absorption, revitalize, smooth, and nourish even the roughest hands and cuticles in just 15 minutes. And it says to use it one to two times per week. So that sounds amazing. You guys know my hands look way older than my actual age because I don't know, I just wash them so much and they're so dry. So this sounds like an amazing kind of spa-like treatment. I love that it warms up, that's awesome. And then also the gold mask for the feet, softening luxury foil mask socks. It says the sauna effect. So I guess this is kind of the same type of thing. Um, it says wrap your feet in gold for the most luxurious foot treatment ever. The gold mask foil socks contain two layers. It's basically the same thing. Actually, it's word for word the exact same thing. So anyway, I would love to do a video on this. If you guys would like to see it, I can do that. I can show like before and afters and see if these really make a difference. So I think that would be kind of fun. Let me know down in the comments below if that's something you would like to see. I also got a box from Physicians Formula and they sent over their new mineral wear loose powder SPF 16. That's kind of a weird, like random SPF number. Um, it says that these are newly reformulated and repackaged. So I guess they did have a version previous to this one. And then also the mineral wear, mineral wear three in one setting powder. And this is brand new, completely new. So um, this mineral wear loose powder says it's a talc free and paraben free loose powder that provides smooth, buildable, sheer to medium coverage that diminishes the appearance of imperfections and delivers an impeccable soft satin finish formulated with gentle gentle I can't talk today gentle mineral ingredients and protective SPF 16 this minimalist foundation is lightweight enough to let the skin breathe and it comes in seven shades and then this one says three in one setting powder in an ultra light and gentle mineral formula that sets brightens and bakes any makeup look for all day wear it includes three harmonious colors translucent to reduce shine pink to brighten the skin and banana to bake and set makeup each shade can be used alone or together to complete any look so that's what they look like right there let's go ahead and open one of these up and take a look all right so I just peeled off the little sticker that's inside so basically this comes with a little sponge like this and then it's the loose powder underneath and I can just quickly show you um, what this looks like what the texture is like so I'll just shake a little bit into the cap Roll this around. I don't know that I would necessarily use the sponge. It kind of feels dense. Like, I don't know how that would really work. All right, and I'll just put some on here. Yeah, it kind of looks like it would be hard to use this sponge. I would probably just use a brush for it, but um, let me see. 
it makes my skin feel really smooth. It's definitely adding a little bit of coverage. I would say it's very sheer, um, so it would have to be built up, but my skin feels amazingly smooth and it doesn't look um, you know, powdery or cakey or anything either. So that's definitely a good thing. I'm not normally a fan of powders, but I definitely wanna give these a try because they sound like they might be friendly towards more dry skin types. So I'll have to let you guys know about that one. And then this is the Mineral Wear 3-in-1 Setting Powder. So it just comes with all three powders like that. And then when you open it up, each one has its own separate compartment. So I can just open the banana one. I'm so afraid this is gonna go everywhere. Okay, so these actually didn't have a seal on them at all. Let me just pick up some of the product. Oh wow, this feels super soft. It feels like a silica powder, like those HD powders that kind of just float on top of your skin. It's making my skin feel like silk. It's super smooth, holy cow. This might actually work out for my dry skin. We'll have to see. This color has a definite brightening effect. You can see already where I put it. So I think that would be great for underneath the eyes. But anyway, I'll have to let you guys know if you'd like to see a video on how these powders work out, definitely let me know down in the comments. I could do a video on these and just let you know my thoughts on them. Like I said, I'm not really into powder because my skin is so dry, but I don't know, these might end up working out okay because they feel really, really nice. So if you'd like to see that, let me know down below. Also, you may have noticed that I'm wearing some new jewelry, so I just wanted to show you these really quick. I got them on Amazon. They're super affordable. And I actually am gonna put a link to my Amazon storefront down in the description box. Amazon had given me a storefront where I can put like all my favorite products in one place, so it'll make it really easy for you guys to find. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash beautiction. So I'll put that down in the description box below and you can check out everything. I have the um, brush holder that's in my background on there. I also have um, the bracelet that I wear all the time. I get a ton of questions on. Um, so anyway, I put these in there as well. And this ring is so pretty. It has like this beautiful iridescent stone in the middle. It has a rose gold band and also it's adjustable. So it doesn't matter what size your finger is. You can just open it up or squeeze it together depending on your finger size. And it's $15. And then this one is made by the same company. It's just a wrap style ring. And the stone in the middle is iridescent too. I don't know if you can kind of see that. On camera it just kind of looks white but it has these really beautiful different colors all mixed in it and it does come in other colors as well so does this one and this one is $13 so I just thought those were really pretty and another new thing that I got also was this cable bracelet and this actually looks a lot like a David Yurman um, which I'm not willing to drop that much cash on a bracelet but I just really love the style of these so I picked this one up as well it was $20 and it also comes in different colors different finishes the stones are different colors in them as well and then this one's also a dupe for the love bracelet and it comes with a little screwdriver and you have to actually screw it onto your wrist so you can't get this off without the screwdriver so it's just on permanently and I've had this one for months I wear it all the time in the shower and everything because it's a pain in the neck to take it off and really I mean for just costume jewelry it's held up really really well it's not tarnishing it still looks really good so I was impressed with this one I'll have to see how this one holds up though um, and then also this infinity bracelet that I wear all the time is a Tiffany bracelet. My husband got this for me when he was in London for Mother's Day. So this one is actually the real deal. So anyway, just wanted to share those finds with you really quickly. I know it's not makeup, but I always get questions on my jewelry. So I just thought I would point you guys in the right direction. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I just got a package from Nabla Cosmetics and I was so super excited to become part of their PR list. It's just such a great feeling when brands reach out and want to make you part of their list. It's kind of like, you know, recognition for all the hard work and everything that I always put in. So I'm just so grateful to them for sending this over. I literally did like a happy dance when this showed up because I've been drooling over this collection on their Instagram. So it's their new Denude collection that just launched and um, I want to show you guys everything that's in here there's palettes there's lip glosses there's brushes it's adorable they have these really small cutie palettes I love these they're perfect for travel but actually the shades inside are full-size shades so there's six in each one and there are two lip glosses in the collection as well one that's like a coral and then a bronzy one they look so beautiful and I've never tried their brushes before so I'm really excited to try out a brush set from them as well so here's a look at everything you get here it's basically an eye 
eye brush set and they feel so super soft and amazing so I'll definitely have to update you guys later on so this is the first cutie palette this one is the nude one and inside again like I said you have six shades um, you have some shimmer shades right here these look like they're maybe satiny they have a little bit of sheen to them but they're not shimmery like these and then this black one also has a bit of a sheen so it might be I'm not sure if it's a shimmer or a satin I'm gonna have to see when I swatch them but just really really beautiful nude shade and then this one is the coral palette so here's a look at this one so beautiful as well this one's definitely more vibrant more bold so you know if you like nude shades I would definitely stick with that one um, this one's got you know your bright pink in it red this one is stunning it looks like it has a dual chrome effect to it this one called Mandarin is beautiful I can't wait to see what that one looks like swatched then you have just a really pretty kind of bronzy shimmer and then your matte brown so um, I'll definitely be swatching these for you guys in just a second um, let me just show you the lip glosses really quick all right so this one is called after sex and uh, let's just do a little swatch it just looks beautiful this is called the shine theory lip gloss so here's a look at the wand it just like is a nice flat applicator I love this style of applicator I feel like they're so easy to apply and this is a really nice sheer gloss it does have some glitter in it but it doesn't feel rough at least just swatching it um, I can do lip swatches of these actually if you want to see what they look like on but this is just really nice it looks super bright in the tube which I'm not really super into bright lip colors so I'm happy actually to see how sheer it is I think it's gonna be so perfect for the summertime and then here's a look at the bronze one. Oh, this one is called Champagne Supernova. That's awesome. I loved Oasis. I still love Oasis. All right, so here's a look at this one. And then same thing here. This one has glitter in it, but I think it's just going to translate to looking really, really shiny on your lips, which is awesome. It doesn't feel like it's chunky glitter, but I can let you guys know. So after I swatch the eyeshadow palettes, I'll swatch these on my lips really quick and you can see what they look like on. I can tell you a little bit about how they feel. All right, so let's go ahead and swatch the nude palette first. So we have Moonlight, Seducer, and Latex Nude. Look at how beautifully that swatches for a matte shade. Oh my goodness. All right, and then the last three shades are No Doubts. This is another amazing matte. Look at that, amazing. Um, this is Glorious. And this one is Plastic. I mean, look at how that black swatched even. Blacks are always, almost always patchy. And that went on just so perfectly. Love it. All right, and then next let's go ahead and swatch the Coral Palette. So first is I Got You, then we have Red Shape, and then Anyway, which is a matte brown, and then we have Mandarin, Feelings, and Coral Amber. So this one is beautiful as well. I would say the only shade that's a little different than all the rest of them between the two palettes is this matte brown right here. I felt like this one was just a little bit more patchy going on. It felt a little more powdery than the others. Um, this one is similar to it, but I think it's swatched a little bit better. But still, I love Nabla's formula. I've never had issues with them. I think they're absolutely amazing eyeshadows. So um, I can't wait to play with these. And we'll definitely do a video on all of these palettes if you guys would like to see that with some swatches. Uh, let me know down below. All right guys, so here's the Champagne Supernova shade. And as you can see, it's really just like more of a clear gloss with a little bit of bronze glitter in it. And it doesn't feel um, gritty or anything. So it feels really soft and cushiony and plush. It's a really nice lip gloss. It's very smooth. It's not sticky at all. It has a really beautiful coconut scent too, which I love. It's delicious. It smells amazing. Um, so now I'll go ahead and try on the coral shade. All right, so here's After Sex, and this color is gorgeous as well. It's just like the perfect hint of coral, just a little bit, even though it looks super bright in the tube. Obviously, like, it doesn't look bright on the lips at all, and um, I just love how shiny these are. Like, I'm looking at myself in the camera, and, like, they're insanely shiny, which I love. So thumbs up for these for sure. I am loving them.
All right, guys, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below what you thought of the products this week and which things you would like to see me do reviews on going forward, because I'll definitely prioritize those if they get a ton of requests. So um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.